Sadari. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create infinite elements in Abacus. As you know, infinite elements are very important elements in dynamic analysis, especially seismic analysis or high speed impact in mechanical engineering. So the importance is very well defined. Let's start. First, I'm going to create a part. In this video, I will create a soil medium. So, soil medium, 3D soil medium. And continue. Now, I am creating cross section of soil. Okay, cross section is ready and now I will extrude it with depths of 50 I think is enough. Okay. As you see these parts, these parts that are far away from the center of the part will be our infinite section. So it's important to partition these sections appropriately. Let's partition our part. First, I, I will sketch the section to define the edges. That's it. And then I will extrude these edges, I mean these edges, to creating a cell partition with the tool with Extrude Sweep Edge Tool. I am choosing edges one by one and then extruding them along a direction. Along direction. Now two edges remain. Mm -hmm. And the final one. So finally our partitions are ready. As you see we have five different partitions in here. This partition will be our finite section and these partitions will be our infinite sections. So let's mesh our model. Before the beginning of meshing, it's important to say that infinite elements must be very larger than adjacent finite elements. It's according to the abacus documentation because if you want to uh, create more fine mesh in these sections, in these parts, your answers probably will go wrong. So it's enough to mesh these edges with just one element. It's enough. I will assign seeds first and then mesh it. One element is enough and signing seeds for other edges. These parts as I said are our infinite parts. So I will use different mesh controls for these sections. I will mesh these sections with sweep control. Sweep. Okay. And also it's important to sweep it in appropriate directions because you want to create your infinite elements in direction outward the soil. I mean 
for example in this direction or in this direction so your sweep direction must agree with your infinite element direction so let's check our directions the first one oops it's wrong so i should change the direction yes this one this is wrong too the direction must be outward of the soil medium yes and two others Flip it. See. Yes. And the final one. So our partitions are ready, and mesh controls are uh, suitably adjusted. Then I'm ready to meshing the part. The tricky part in this video is that I'm going to mesh these parts with acoustic elements and then changing it later with infinite elements. So I assigned these parts with AC3D8 nodes. Uh, eight node linear acoustic brick elements and then I will change it in input file uh, maybe it's a question for you why I uh, do this because if you want to create infinite elements directly it's uh, somewhat difficult to create and sometimes you will get confused this is tricky way and also simple and also it's correct because according to Abacus manual, acoustic elements are well adjusted with finite elements. So it's suitable to use this trick. I'm going to create a job. I name it infinite elements. Okay. And write input file. Almost we're done. Now I will open the input file from the temp folder of your abacus. This one. Oops, something wrong. I must create a assembly section first. And in this file, maybe uh, sometimes this uh, type of file won't uh, open easily. So the thing that you must do is that right click on the file and then click on open with and open it with your Windows Notepad program. Find the AC acoustic elements and changed it to infinite elements. 3D infinite element is CIN 3D8. Uh, 3D linear break 8 node infinite elements. Close and save it. Okay, our infinite elements are ready. So I'm just gonna input this part to my abacus very well as you see these parts are the infinite sections and this part is our finite section have a nice day goodbye